All right, so checking out this shoe in hand, first off, it did come in the typical Jordan 4 box, but looking at the shoe itself, this shoe is super special. So this is the second iteration of the Thunder colorway. The first one was actually a yellow one, came out in 2012, but now we're looking at the Red Thunders, and man, this thing is super nice in hand. But Landon, what do you think about this shoe? Oh yeah, I'm really glad that we were able to check these out. We did just get one pair and they came out super clean. So uh, the quality just across this upper just feels really nice. You can tell they'd use some really nice uh, materials just for the design, but overall rating these one to five, what are you gonna give it? You know, I'm gonna give it a five out of five for me. Personally, I just really like the Jordan 4 model overall. And then also it is kind of like a bread kind of colors. So definitely it's gonna be a five out of five, but Landon, what's your rating on these? Yeah, I'm gonna go a little lower and I'm gonna give these a 3.5 out of five. I still think the color scheme is nice. You kind of reference the bread. It's get, it, get, it has more of like a crimson tint to the red color. So that's why it didn't get that bread colorway even though it follows the same type of color scheme but you know I do like this model as well but I'm just not a fan of how dark the shoe is I mean you got black kind of covering most of the shoe if there was some white flashes on there to kind of bring it out I might like it a little bit better but if you like darker color scheme shoes this would be an easy cop for you but that's actually going to wrap up our unboxing for the Air Jordan 4 Retro Red Thunder thank you guys for taking some time to watch and if you guys are interested in buying the shoe we're going to leave some links down in the description but until next time Peace.